Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Ed Sacred International. This is your visa advisor. Thank you for clicking this channel. So today's video is related to reasons for your F1 visa refusal. First of all, let me tell you that getting your visa denial does not mean that you will not get your visa approved in the next time. But you can get your visa approved next time once you make some changes in your profile. I have seen many of the candidates who have reapplied after so many rejections and they have got their visa approved. But before submitting your next application, you should know that what were the exact reasons of your visa denial so that you could make some changes in your profile next time you make your visa application. So this video is going to cover all the reasons because of which your visa gets denied. And today I'm going to talk about only F1 visa denial reasons. So do watch the video till the end and if you are new to this channel quickly subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload the video you could get the notification instantly. And if you like this video hit the like button. So without any further delay let's move into the video. The first and the main reason of your F1 visa denial is your intent to come back. Many of the candidates are not able to prove the visa officer that after completing their studies from US, they will come back to their home country. This answer should be very strongly and properly made so that the visa officer gets convinced for your coming back to your home country after completing your studies and the visa officer could give you visa approval. This answer should be prepared very properly and in a better manner to convince the visa officer. The if second you... major reason of your F1 visa denial is your poor visa interview. It may happen that you were not able to perform in front of the visa officer confidently. But one thing you need to keep in your mind that this is the point where visa officer is going to have a perception of you. Visa officers want you to perform in an honest way and I advise you to here dress professionally but in a simple manner and also have a good body language and a good tone to perform in front of the visa officer because this is going to give a good impression on the visa officer. Third major point of visa denial is inadequate English proficiency. If you are not good in speaking English and if you have not taken any English test, so this is going to have a bad impression on the visa officer. So here I give you advice to practice properly in English before going for your visa interview. And because the visa officers speak in American accent and it is also advisable to listen to English movies or short stories in American accent because this is going to help you to understand the American accent of visa officers and you will be able to perform in a more better way once you understand the questions of the visa officers. But if you are having a proper in your English grammar or any other thing related to English language then before going for your visa interview practice more and more and as much as you can. Fourth major point of your visa denial is insufficient financial funds. Because you're going to US for study and you should have sufficient funds in your bank account in order to support yourself to cover your expenses there which includes your tuition fee and other expenses as well. But if you are not having sufficient funds in your bank account so this is going to put a bad impression on visa officer and due to which you can get your visa denial. So make sure next time when you do your visa application have proper funds in your bank account. Next major point of your visa denial is your criminal history record. Before explaining this point, let me tell you that this reason is not for all the candidates who are going to US, but this reason of refusal is for limited candidates who are having criminal history. It can be because of their traffic violations or any other reason, but the candidates who are going to study in US should not have any criminal history. Only then visa officer will be convinced to approve your visa. 